Hi friends, welcome back to our Lakshmi's Physics classes. In this video, I am going to explain the previously asked questions for NEET from units and measurements. Let's see the dimensional formula of universal gravitational constant. See the formula F equal to G into M1 M2 upon R square. This is the formula. From this, we have to find the universal gravitational constant's dimensions. Let's see. G is equal to F R square upon M1 M2. Okay. Now write the dimensions of here it is F is force M L T power minus 2 and here R is the distance between the two masses. So it is L square is there. So L square upon for mass M1 M and for M2 M. Okay. Let's see 1 M and M get cancelled. The remaining terms M power minus 1 and here L and L square is there. So L cube and here it is T power minus 2. This is the dimensional formula for universal gravitational constant. Okay. Let's see M power minus 1 L cube and T power minus 2. A is the correct option. Let's see the next question. The dimensions of Planck's constant equals to that of. First we will find the dimensions of Planck's constant. For that formula E equal to H nu. Okay. Here H is of Planck's constant which is equal to E upon nu. Nu is the frequency here. Okay. Now E is the energy. If you want to know the dimensions of energy I will give the link in the description box. Once check it out. Here I am writing the directly the dimensions of energy that is m l square n t power minus 2. Okay, upon for frequency is t power minus 1. Okay, which is equal to m l square t power minus 1. This is the dimension of formula for Planck's constant, which is equal to which one of this we have to find. For first, see energy. Already here I have written the energy. So both are different. See here this energy and it is different. Let's find for b that is momentum. Momentum formula P is equal to mass multiplied by velocity. For mass dimension formula is M and for velocity L into T power minus 1. See this is the dimension formula for momentum. See here Planck's constant and momentum both are different. Let's find for this third one that is angular momentum. See angular momentum L is equal to formula I omega. So for the dimensions of I is M L square and here omega is the angular velocity that is T power minus 1. So which is equal to M L square and T power minus 1. See here both are same. Planck's constant and angular momentum have the same dimensions. So B C is the correct option. Next question. See here which paint do not have equal dimensions. First find for the energy. See for energy both potential energy and kinetic energy have the same dimensions. I am finding for kinetic energy that is half mv square. See for mass m for velocity l t power minus 1 and here a square is there. So whole square which is m l square and t power minus 2. This is the dimension formula for energy. Let us see for torque. Torque is equal to formula force into perpendicular distance. Okay. So which is equal to dimensions of force are m l and t power minus 2. Here perpendicular distance dimensions are l. So which is equal to m l square and t power minus 2. See here energy and torque both have the same dimensions but we have to find do not have equal dimensions let's check out for b that is force force is equal to formula mass into acceleration so which is equal to mass is m acceleration l into t power minus 2 okay this is the dimension formula for force let's see for impulse Impulse is equal to formula force into time. So here we got the dimension formula of 
force that is m l t power minus 2 and for time is again t so which is equal to m l and t power minus 1 see here this is different and this is different so b is the correct option let's see the next question see here which of the following dimensions will be the same as that of time okay let's find for l upon r which is equal to time constant so we know that electric potential v is equal to minus l into delta i upon delta t okay from this l is equal to v delta t upon delta i and uh, we know that v equal to i r so from this r is equal to v upon i so this formula and this formula for l and r substitute here v delta t upon delta i upon see here v upon i so which is equal to v into delta t upon delta i multiply and here it is i upon v so here v and v get cancelled current and current will get cancelled the remaining term is delta t which is equal to time so here l by r is equal to the time so a is the correct option next question dimensions of rc is rc is nothing but time constant okay let's see here r is the resistance and c is the capacitance so rc is equal to we know the formula v equal to ir okay from this r is equal to v upon i and also we know the formula that is q is equal to cv so from this c is equal to q upon v now substitute here r is v upon i and for c is q upon v okay here v v will get cancelled so q upon i we know that formula for current q is equal to i t so substitute here i into t upon i so both will get cancelled which is equal to t time constant so rc is time constant so c is the correct option without doing this solution also if you know this you can write the answer as c next question which of the following has the dimensions of pressure okay formula for pressure is equal to force upon area which is equal to dimensions of force are m l t power minus 2 and for area l square so which is equal to 1 l and l will get cancelled the remaining terms m l power minus 1 and here it is t power minus 2 this is the dimension of formula for pressure c here b is the correct option next question of the following quantities which one has dimensions different from the remaining three so find first one is energy per unit volume energy per unit volume dimensions of energy are m l square t power minus 2 and for volume is l cube okay which is equal to m l power minus 1 and here it is t power minus 2 okay b is force per unit area force per unit area which is equal to dimensions of force m l t power minus 2 and for area l square which is equal to see here m l power minus 1 and here it is t power minus 2 and the c is product of voltage and charge per unit area charge per unit volume product of voltage and charge per unit volume v multiply with charge per unit volume which is equal to c voltage is equal to we know the formula work upon charge okay which into c q a upon v charge and charge will get cancelled see this is work done upon volume see you just remember that this is volume okay so which is equal to dimensions of work done are m 
L square and T power minus 2. If you want to know the dimensions of work done, I will give the links in the description box. Check it out. Volume is L cube. So, which is equal to M L power minus 1 and T power minus 2. Okay. All these three are equal. Let us check for the option D. That is angular momentum L equal to formula I omega which is equal to dimensions of I are m l square and omega is the angular velocity so t power minus 1 so which is equal to m l square and t power minus 1 see here this is different from all these three so d is the correct option i hope you understand please do like share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel